Top Speed, the most advanced throttle controller to be installed in a Toyota Vios 2008 to 2012 model. So this is what we call Batman. Okay, so we have your installer. And we will teach you how to install it to your vehicle. So once you get your top speed box, you have here your chip and your controller plus some instruction manual. Number one rule, make sure that the engine is off before you install your top speed. Okay, and while we're doing this, you need to install it to your top speed or the throttle controller at the back of your pedal. Later on, I will show you how. Good. Installing the top speed controller to the throttle sensor. So usually it's at the back of the pedal. So it's just plug and play, DIY. You just need to make sure that it perfectly fits. So this is the chip. The top speed chip. Plus this is your uh, throttle connector. So we just did a Y connect. And this is your top speed chip. Since the vehicle is off, your controller is off as well but you just need to make sure that you rotate the key and all the accessories will turn on plus your controller will turn on if your vehicle is push button just press it once without pressing the brake pedal so as you can see the engine is off but the vehicle is turned on plus your controller is turned on next we go to your app store or play store download top speed v2 this is top speed v2 then click on install let's click on install downloading top speed v2 app on this phone and once it's downloaded click on open again important thing to remember do not turn on the engine just turn on your vehicle but the engine should be off when you install your top speed v2 so click on open then click on allow all the time then click on allow okay sorry i'm losing my left hand so top speed v2 is asking to turn on bluetooth so click on allow then you can see that your top speed app is already here so you just need to bind the device click on scan barcode then click on allow then we look for the barcode on the box so that's the barcode ending with 0030 then click on connect then connecting to the Bluetooth again when you see the upgrade do you need to upgrade make sure that the engine is off otherwise you will see all the errors there or you will have problems connecting to your bluetooth so make sure that the engine is off but your controller is on so just click on sure loading please wait so it's it's now upgrading your app you just need to wait until it goes 100% And it's already updated and let's see when you click on uh, you will still have this error please bind the device and once you see that it will automatically connect and when you move this you can already see that your controller modes is working as well so you can also click on the controller and your app will move too so after installing it this is the time that we turn on the engine. So let me turn on the engine now. Okay, so pressing on brake, then turn on the ignition. And 
it's already on so you can see we have here the dashboard uh, the park light no seat belts uh, handbrake and the door is open it's here plus your app and your controller is here so let's go over to the modes so let me see okay let me go to anti-lag to sport plus to top speed sorry okay <laughs> Eco speed, normal, anti lag, sport plus, top speed. Then all other settings are here off road, drag, valet, student, AI. Then we rev up. So later on, our dear client will be doing a test drive. That's how quick and easy it is. You can also change the intensity here. So let's say we go to sport plus, then change to this intensities or how much powerful you want your mode to be then the manual is here